Sebastian Vettel was only employed by Lawrence Stroll to make his son Lance look good. In this video, I'm going to tell you what I think. <laughs> I've, um, I've tricked you a bit there because um, I certainly don't think that um, Sebastian Vettel was only employed by Lawrence Stroll to make his son Lance look good. Um, first of all, I don't believe that Lance um, needs anybody to, um, needs, needs to prove anything to anyone um, th th that, he, that he deserves uh, to be in Formula One. I think, he, I mean, let's face it, he's had um, two, um, two, two um, podiums and, um, and let's face it, um, Nick Eikenberg hasn't even had one podium in, in um, nearly two, 200 Grand Prix. So, um, as I said, I think he doesn't need to prove anything to anyone. And I certainly don't think um, Lauren Stroll has employed Sebastian Vettel um, to make the team look good. Um, nevertheless, I do think... Um, I do think... Sebastian Vettel um, is going to help Aston Martin uh, become more prominent, um, and it certain it certainly helps that he to have a four-time world champion um, on your team. Um, but but I I would like to compare him to um, Michael Schumacher. I mean, when uh, when Michael Schumacher came back in 2010, in my opinion, he wasn't there to fight for um, championships uh, realistically. Um, I think he was there to assist with his knowledge and his feedback um, to improve the uh, Mercedes um, F1 team to what it is today. And certainly, I think that is what um, Vettel is, has been employed to do at Aston Martin. Um, I I think he's not he's there not necessarily there to fight for championships um although uh, never say never I think he's there more more as a um driver to help them score some points and uh, maybe score some podiums um and um help them become a front-running team that is capable of um, winning the championships in the future. I mean, who knows? Maybe Aston Martin um, will, will be the next um, Mercedes and win the, uh, the, the Formula One champion, championship uh, sometimes consecutively um, so um, you know we, we shall only wait and see um, but to say that uh, that Vettel is 
is lost his mojo. I think it's too early to say. And uh, I think, I mean, we've had one race, one bloody race. And yes, um, the move was clumsy um, that he did. Um, but fair credit to him, he did actually apologize to Ocon in Park Ferme. So um, this is just what I was thinking, though. As always, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Cheers for listening. And I'm out of here, guys. Bye.